Okay, let's take a look at question 1.2. Now, 1.2 is almost always your simultaneous equation. So remember, guys, there are one or two ways that you can deal with them. You can either express one equation in terms of one variable and then substitute that into the other equation, or you can subtract them from each other, whatever you're more comfortable with. I prefer substitution because subtracting the two can get a little messy. So let's take a look at this question. It says solve simultaneously for x and y. Okay, so... I'm going to express this first equation in terms of x. So, if I subtract 3y from both sides, I get x is equal to 2 minus 3y. So now what happens is every time I see an x in this equation here, I substitute this whole expression in there. Okay, so that gives us x squared is 2 minus 3y, all squared, plus... Over here, I'm going to group the 4 and the y together, just to make it a little bit neater. So I get 4y, but remember, there's still an x in there. So I need to say 2 minus 3y. Minus 5 is equal to 0. And now all you have to do is multiply out and simplify. Okay, so 2 squared is 4. Minus twice the product of these two is going to give me minus 2 times 3 is 6, times 2 is 12, plus... 9y squared. Now for the second bracket, 2 times 4y is 8y. And 4 times negative 3 is negative 12y squared. Minus 5 is equal to 0. So let's deal with the y squareds first. 9y squared minus 12y squared is going to give me negative 3y squared. And then Minus 12y plus 8y is minus 4y. And 4 minus 5 is negative 1. So now I don't like it when my y squared is a negative, so I'm going to divide by a negative. And now, easy peasy factorization. We get 3y plus 1 and y plus 1 as our factors. So now we know that y is equal to negative 1 over 3, or y is equal to negative 1. Now, guys, if you think you're finished, you're not. Solve simultaneously for x and y. So now what you need to do is go and substitute your y values back into an equation. I'm going to use this one over here. So x is equal to 2 minus 3y. 3y. Okay, so x is equal to 2 minus 3 times negative 1 third, or x is equal to 2 minus 3 times negative 1. You substitute that y in there and this y in here. Okay, so that gives us x is equal to 2, negative 3 multiplied by negative 1 third is positive 1. So x is equal to 3. Or on this side, x is equal to 2. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 1 is plus 3. So x is equal to 5. So if you do it in the right order, you know, guys, that this y value corresponds with this x value. And this y value corresponds with that x value. Okay, so that is question 1.2, your simultaneous equations.